on branding, we're joined by Dean Crutchfield. He's an international brand consultant from the Dean Crutchfield Company. Welcome, Dean, to our show. Nice to be here. Nice, nice to be here. here. All right, so Tata Motors, uh, tricky situation. Mm -hmm. They were about to launch this new model, Zika, and of course, then we get this virus that's ravishing much of, of Latin America. Uh, so did they make the right decision to say, okay, we're scrapping that name? Absolutely. I mean, they, they have no other choice if you're yeah, associated they, with a yeah. terrorist organization yeah. or Well, there's virus, lots of bad name examples out there. You know, yeah. uh, Siri in Germany is a man's appendage. Um, Gerber uh, baby food is puke in France. I mean, you look around the world, you see all these local interpretations of brand names. It doesn't mean you have to change. Mm -hmm. And many of them don't. They're big established brands. Mm -hmm. But if you look at something new, well, that's right. entirely different. But in a sense, Tata is lucky because they caught it before they released the brand, although they, they uh, invested in this ad with Lionel Messi, so a very expensive ad, but at least they were able to sort of stop the train Absolutely. before it started rolling. Yes. What happens when you have a product that's already been launched and now, for example, with ISIS, you know, it becomes a word, a part of our lexicon with a negative connotation. How, what is the cost that's involved with fixing that problem, renaming yourself? Well, it it, for a substantial business, millions, literally millions, and it can range. You know, if you're a bank in America with, I don't know, say 3,000 uh, locations, retail locations, if you wanted to change those totem poles outside of those banks, it could cost you upwards of $100 million. Mm -hmm. The GE sign in New York is a $3 million sign. So it's very expensive. The thinking's quite cheap, but the actual rolling out and getting it done is huge. So all that infrastructure that was being built for that car now has to all change, you know. Okay, but the cost of not doing something is worse. I mean, it just shows you how important advertising is to a brand. It's huge. I mean, uh, please, you know, like, let's have full forms of people to react, and it can get over this problem for Tata, but they couldn't have launched the brand with the same name. It would have been a laughing stock. It would have been the butt end of jokes, and that's not a good place to start. And that then, of course, affects our perceptions of it, and the next minute we're not interested in buying it. So but, it's, it's uh, a big downer. Oh, you know, there's that old adage, though, of course, there's no such thing as bad publicity, though. I mean, if you're affiliated or associated with something negative, can it, in a way, in the short term at least, help you gain um, uh, knowledge, you know, gain sort of uh, recognition, not recognition, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, you stand get, out. Uh, you, yeah, yeah, you, you stand out, out you get yeah, attention. You get attention right? and you so, stand out. But it's a question of then how you back that up. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, shock only works if you can follow through. But if it's just a precipice of a cliff, then you're going to fall off it too. And how do you change the name after, say, you've got 25 years of having this one name? How, how do you get all of your customers to know we're now called this? I mean, is it, is it a social media campaign that helps? Is it just TV advertising? What's the most effective way to let people know you're changing things? It's a combination of everything. Um, and I think what you want is the media talking about it is one of the most powerful, whether they're bloggers or, the, or, or you know, uh, uh, or, or looking at CCTV or, you, you know, you want the media to talk because that's free press. It also endorses it if it's good press. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, there's advertising, marketing, you've obviously got the dealerships that you have to turn on to kind of push your product. Mm -hmm. So there's so many, there's so many arms and legs of marketing, it's huge. That's why advertising in itself can be so, so powerful. I like to say advertising gets people to the door. Mm -hmm. That's its power. Now, social media has changed everything, obviously, because yes. now it's a two-way conversation. Yes. It's not just the brands telling you this is what it is. They're going to get feedback from, yes. from uh, their, their customers. Uh, has this been problematic for brands? Um, well, it depends. You see, uh, one of the most important things to remember about research is, and, uh, and God bless consumers, but they're not visionaries. So mm -hmm. to go to them and ask them about something that's totally different from what they're used to, they're going to tell you they don't like it. Mm -hmm. That's a typical kind of, kind of consumer position. They don't like change. So you have to be mindful how you use the research but certainly from a naming standpoint absolutely critical that you get a large number of people uh, you know kind of as it were voting on on the names that you generate because essentially with social media I mean it is almost sort of a, a, a sort of public opinion uh, yeah. war between yeah. the brand and, yeah. and its customers well, it's, it's actually social media is now like a barometer you know it, it kind of says how you're going you know if you're doing well and if you don't because social media is going to pick up on either way so it is that barometer and therefore, it's a great test when you have a crisis situation. You know, you have to open up all, you know, all channels, and the social media channels tend to be very pers you know, persuasive these days and very powerful. So they play a really big role. But it's a little bit like the modern-day media relations. Just like we saw the Supita. Right. And the last thing, the disease of a car. Right. Aid, uh, it was a diet a candy called AIDS, and, mm. and they actually went out of business. Um, mm. Do you think really, that you could lose everything? Absolutely, the whole lot. I mean, things for value. It doesn't mean that you're skittish and you'll flip overnight, mm -hmm. but there is a two way communication happening now that has been there before. Yeah. So, you know, people want that communication.
So it's changed everything, social media, essentially, with, with the brands. Absolutely. It's made them accountable, but it's also, mm -hmm. I mean, have they sort of changed the way that they approach? Because the technology like the Facebooks and the social media feeds, you can precisely put them. It's amazing what obviously technology can do, and, and we all know that we're giving away so much. Yeah. So there's a lot they can see in social media to, you know, who they should be targeting yeah. and the right messaging, the, what words are going to popular at the moment. The whole thing's there okay. at the touch of a, you know, in real time. So win-win. Yeah, All absolutely. right. Thank you so much, Dean. Pleasure Thanks to be here. Thanks for joining us. That was Dean Crutchfield, International Brand Consultant.